and when we left our beautiful female blue tit last, she was just after taking out all the nest material and for the duration of the 25th, started building her nest. But I'll let you in on a secret on the 26th and 27th, she outdoes herself and actually completes the nest in two days. And yes, a very big welcome back to another video. And I have promised you two days of crazy nest building. And let me tell you, she does not disappoint. And on the 26th, she had a spring in her step. And nesting material, mainly moss, started coming in in the beakful. And I was very happy to see this, as we can see in previous videos. All previously, all for the previous few weeks, she has been taking out all the material as we saw. So it was great to see the nest starting to go in the right direction. And we see her here bringing in material bit by bit, tossing it, continuing into a few little nesting shuffles to persist a little nest cup the size of herself. And we're going to take a little look at that just in normal speed. And so she brings in a bit of moss, as I mentioned, has a wee look around and gets straight into some nesting shuffles. And this will continue to compact that moss until there's a perfect blue tit size nest cup ready for some eggs. But first, we need to get enough moss in to get rid of the wooden floor, as a wooden floor wouldn't be very good insulation for eggs and also the hard surface certainly wouldn't do the eggshells any favours. We also saw her bring in some soft material, I thought it was very early, uh, considering we can still see the wooden floor of the nest cup. But look, who are we to judge what this little bird has in mind for her nest? And yes, after this video, I will be putting a poll up to name this bird. Um, I've got loads of suggestions from the previous comments and the previous videos, so thank you all who suggested stuff, and thank you all who have liked um, other people's suggestions, because that's what I'm mainly going to go by to include. I'm going to include maybe four in a poll, maybe. I haven't just looked into it just yet, How what ones have made the cut, but it'll be going up probably after this video, and then by the next video, these two birds, or these pair of blue, tip, blue tits, will have a name. But for one last video, she is just going to be known as our female blue tit. And our female blue tit continued the build right into the afternoon on the 26th. And believe it or not, she really does not stop building for the rest of the day. I tried to pull all the footage off the app for this day. Any footage that I saw with any material being brought into the nest cup. And let me tell you, that took quite a while to do. And... I tell you, it didn't take near as long as it took for her to build this nest, but um, I felt some of her pain trying to pull all this footage off. But I'm glad I'm, I did, as I'm always super interested to see the step-by-step -step process of the nest building, and we can really see it starting to take shape now. We can see the, the moss that she has brought in earlier is now compacted against the side of the walls, and it's starting to close in on her bit by bit. And we're going to see her behaviour change as the nest cup slowly starts to form. That every so often she starts knitting the material together. Um, which I always find really interesting. Kind of starts weaving it together and making maybe a little barrier that starts pressing against her and the nest cup. What becomes the nest cup essentially. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, this is usually spanned out quite maybe a week or so when they really get serious. But she does not stop building all on the 26th. We're at 4 o'clock now on the clock. And she really is coming in every hour for quite a substantial amount of time. This must have been an exhausting feat of determination to get this nest built. There must have been something in the air on the 26th that really triggered some environmental factor that really triggered the nest building process. So we've just quickly moved on to the 27th and we can see in the 27th that the hardwood floor of the nest box is starting to disappear and she's bringing the nesting material into the nest cup, tossing it 
and continuing to compact that nest cup. And we will see the beginnings of it in this video. Once she believes that the nest is built, then she will start feathering the nest. And sometimes this overlaps with the egg laying. Um, but all that to come in upcoming videos. But in this video, she really does complete the nest. And we can see some feathers starting to make it in now. And we can see we can't see the floor of the nest box anymore. So this is starting to look a lot more cozy for those eggs. But our female blue tit isn't the only one visiting the nest. We actually get an unwelcome visit of a starling. So I slow this next bit of footage down and just look at this impressive beak that comes through the nest hole here. That beak could certainly do some damage to any chicks in the nest box if it could reach it. Thankfully the nesting hole on this nest box is just too small for these starlings. We've seen them try to get in in previous years but they haven't got it that far just yet because blue tits tend to build their nest cup at the just the far corner furthest from the nest hole. We can see our female blue tit doing just that and also bringing in an impressive feather. I thought this feather was just especially impressive and I needed to slow this footage down just to bring it back down to earth as seeing all sped up footage is great but I always like to see just a little bit of slowed down footage to uh, slow things down a bit if not just for a moment as we have to speed it back up to actually get through all the footage and to see what finishing touches Pete she puts on the nest in the 27th. And so we see the nest still needs some fleshing out with material. Now she starts bringing in some coarse material and sadly to say she also brings in some uh, synthetic man-made material, some black strands of some plastic black strands that she's getting. Um, I'm not too sure where she's pulling that from. You can see some of it here and more does make its way in among with some feathers. So unfortunately we're well used to man-made or man-grown substances causing issues in the nest box. We can see a lot more material got brought in there. Always makes me nervous as previous years. We've had uh, Biddy, our, fem our previous female blue tit, get stuck in the nest, um, along with a chick getting tied up to the bottom of Biddy's foot and getting dragged out of the nest. If you haven't seen all that, it's in previous videos. Just go to playlists and go to previous years. You'll see them all there and look for it in the thumbnails. It's uh, pretty interesting to watch, I have to say. But um, hopefully this doesn't cause havoc this year. Who knows? It's always, uh, it's always a lottery when there's man-made stuff in there as it just gets tangled up in their feet and gets tangled up in the nest and then they get stuck in the nest, unfortunately. So... That one is just going to have to be a wait and see, I'm afraid. But on a much more cheerful note, the nest is really starting to look complete. You can see she has a lovely little nest cup there for her. She's starting to line it uh, with feathers and more coarse material. And you'll see at the end of this video, she starts spending a little bit more time in the nest cup. And you'll see her circling around and around, weaving the nest cup together. And again, just making a little bit of a wall or a little bit more of a, I would like to think, or lacking for a better word, a bit of a fabric to coat the nest cup and become the nest cup, essentially. And as we can see, the camera is just slowly starting to go into night mode and our female blue tit has no um, plans on stopping building. She, we can see her doing the weaving there that I was talking about and she really just works into the night um, or at least until the camera changes. You can see it's gone to black and white here um, and she continues to bring in some material and then also weaving it into the nest cup bit by bit um, to help strengthen that nest cup. I thought she was going to sleep in the nest uh, on the 27th um, she even curls up and looks like she's about to go to sleep in a little bit, but eventually decides against it and actually sleeps elsewhere, funny enough. But from the 28th, tomorrow night on, or we just went to it there, we'll actually start to see her sleeping in the nest and perhaps to start laying, but that's all in the upcoming videos. Um, 
The building slows down on the 28th. The bulk of the building was done in on the 26th and 27. On the 28th, a lot of more of that weaving happened. And she was bringing in softer material and just lining that nest cup with nice comfy material for the incoming eggs that she's going to bring into this world that hopefully translate to new chicks in the world, new blue tits in the world. And uh, that's all coming in upcoming videos. And that brings us pretty much to the end of another video. I want to thank you all for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me. And uh, share the videos on your social medias as well. If you do enjoy them and you want to do me a favor. Um, I do the odd time get messages asking what people can do. Share my videos. It's always big welcome and hugely appreciated when I see someone share my stuff. And just to mention one more time, yes, we are going to be naming them. There's going to be a poll put up very soon after this video. And we are going to see just what we're going to call our female blue tit and our male blue tit this year. And who knows, these could be these birds could be with us for a number of years. As uh, I actually do believe this bird doesn't have a foot. Now... I'm going to come back to this in another video, so I'm going to leave that as a bit of a cliffhanger there. I, I do believe this bird only actually has one foot, um, but I will explain this in upcoming videos. And um, until then, I'll leave our female blue tit just doing a little bit of weaving in the nest. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.